up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Scotty Cash, back with another Superman review. I told you I was in Superman geek mode, man. Super geek mode. Superman super geek mode. That's what it is. Um, if you're wondering, is do I just does he just wear the same shirt every day? No, I obviously sit down, do like two or three reviews, make the videos, and then put them out every few days. Um, this time I'm going to look at Superhero Collection, which is a magazine that comes with a lead figure. Now, if you've seen these, they pretty much have every character. And, you know, depending on where you see them, they're quite expensive, unless you get it when it first comes out. Well, I didn't know these existed, and when I seen this figure, Superman Steel... I had to have it. Now, if you ever see Killing, you can ask him. Scotty Cash hunted steel for a long time, and when I finally found him, he was like 42 bucks, 35 bucks. One place I found him for 50 bucks. And to, to buy the, the magazine at your local comic shop, I think it's like 15. But I get it, you know, it's it's out of print. This is number 75, and they're way past number 75. But I just couldn't I couldn't bring myself to pay that much. Um, I ended up finding him at C2E2 in Chicago for $12. When I seen him, I thought, $12? I was like, there's obviously something broke on it. There's obviously something to matter with it. Maybe it doesn't come with the magazine. Do I only get the magazine? Do I not get the figure? No. No, you get the figure in the magazine. You know, why wouldn't you? Well, I don't know. Every single lead figure, if you don't know about these, is hand-painted. And there's, you know, there's only X amount made of these. And I will tell you what number mine is. Mine's number 2,118. And I don't remember how many are made. I don't think it tells me in this. Uh, but these are very limited. And these are absolutely amazing. It's a lead figure. Boom, heavy, real heavy. This one comes with steel and steel's hammer. I want Kilowog so bad. Um, I'm on the lookout for Kilowog. There's another, like, a special limited edition Superman where he's, like, it's a Superman statue where he's standing in the park and he's got, like, an eagle on his arm. And they got, like, a gold edition of him. But uh, it comes with the hammer. The hammer then slides in Steel's hands. And then when you slide the hammer down into his hand, there's a little tab that stops on the top of his hand. That way it fits perfect in both of his hands. That way he can hold it. Just like in the picture. Yep, completely hand painted, all lead, super heavy, bad arse. Can I say bad arse? Take that out, put that back in there. I love the way it displays, so it's gonna stay. It's gonna stay just like that in this DC box on my shelf. All right, now what you're wondering is, well, what's the book all about? Well, the book's all about steel. I know, it sounds crazy, right? Um, a lot of good art. All the art from whatever comic they're talking about at the time. They're talking about how John uh, Henry Adam, Adams Irons became steel. Superman saved his life. He wanted to repay Superman. Superman said, make it count. And he said, from here on out, I'm going to make it count. So he becomes steel. Um, in here, on inside the issue, you got the character. The weapon design, or the weapon designer becomes a hero, pretty much his whole story. Uh, the classics, uh, information about him, the transformation of John Henry uh, Irons, the players, his friends, his foes, his families, and his uh, armored hero, which is himself. And then it just goes into some other details about him. It gives you an alternate story about when he was the other kind of steel. I don't really remember this one too much, but it's, I think he was like actually, actually made of like a like a steel. It goes into allies and enemies. And then some more pictures. The actual comic art from when when John Henry Irons became steel or when he first seen it. Looks just like Shaq in this one. Weird, huh? And then on the back it shows you next month Number 76 is going to be Big Barda, and then it shows the, the magazine and what the figure is going to look like. 
Yeah, man. I, I, the only thing I wish it'd be like an old like it'll be like a catalog, and then you flip to the last page, and they just got all of the ones that they've already made, or maybe like all the main characters. Cause to look at them, it's awesome. Like when you go to like a comic a comic place or something, and you see these like a convention, how they got them on stairs, it, it just looks amazing. Amazing. They also have Marvel ones too. Um, I wouldn't mind getting like black costume Spider Man. That'd be kind of neat. But uh, they are really, really high. So if you see them at a good deal, you won't find it again. So pick it up. If you see one you like, pick it up. They got Superboy. Um, I don't know if they have Eradicator in those. I would love to get all four of the, the Death of Superman figures. Superboy, Eradicator, Cyborg, and I already have Steel. So, But, uh, yeah, this is a pretty awesome, awesome set, especially for 12 bucks. I got it for a Steel, and, and I couldn't be happier. But until next time, Scotty Cash, I'm out of here. Thank you.